Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Alright, we are looking at the Lizard Man Team Blood Bowl 2020 leaks. Let's get right to it. A very interesting set of changes here, Jim. What are we looking at? Yeah, um, so funnily enough, the, the skinks and the chameleon have still got passing on doubles. Um, so you can get a leader skink or something. That's, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, Crocs loses access to passing, so you can't get my favorite of a leader Crocs, which is what I did on Fumble. Um, so, yeah, the main thing, well, okay, there's two changes, essentially. The Saurus blockers have been increased to 85k from 80, and the rerolls have been increased from 60k to 70k. So, um, it's not that bad in the long term. In the long term, you're 50k more than you would be. Like when you finished your team, when you've when you've built your team, you're fifty or sixty k more than you normally would be. So that's it's not a problem in the long term, but it absolutely kicks in the teeth the starting roster, which to be fair was completely OP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean that's been a long-standing thing. Lizards, uh, other than the one and nine start for all their blocks, uh, they are a very strong team to build right out of the box. Well, how do we shift it up now with eighty five k? Saurus and 70k gold pieces this is gonna this is gonna turn it on its head a little bit huh yeah yeah this is the thing you literally cannot start with all seven big guys um you've got to start with six Saurus I mean that's non-negotiable for me um so you either start with six Saurus and five skinks and uh two rerolls which which is 950k or you start with six Saurus a Croxagore four skinks and only one reroll and that is 960k so in both situations you could then invest the money that you've got left into um dedicated fans which would pay off quite quickly to get you the money i think it is would be worth um investing any money you had left over in dedicated fans because it's going to give you more fan factor on the kickoff tables and it's also going to like pay for itself pretty quickly actually uh, it'll pay itself back to you, and then after about three or three games or something, you'll get yes. your reroll. Yeah, so a fine line to walk there. If you do that one reroll start, which is I think what I'd prefer, you're just because uh, I really want to start with a Crocs on that team. You know, then yeah. you're just uh, you just got to get yourself to 140 gold to get that second reroll uh, without um, without completely falling apart. Um, and, uh, and and drop an early game. So it really depends on the format of the league you're in and everything else. But that, I mean, that's going to be true of every team and every change. Uh, do you favor one of those two over the other, Jim? Oh, yeah, I absolutely favor the Crocs to go start. Um, less chance of skink MVPs, which is, you know, you want all your MVPs to fall on your, on your seven big guys. And, you know, if you're a bit on, if you have an unlucky game, you can just restart, right? And if it's, if it's not a, you know, a scheduled league or whatever with your buddies or, you know, something like a, you know a tiered league online. If it's if it's something like um, matchmaking, if you don't win your first three games and get your second reroll, you can just restart, can't you? Um, so I think yeah, that's fair the. Enough. I mean, again, I think that's got the better dependent on the format there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely depends on the format. Um, I think there's definitely more payoff by starting with the Crocs for sure. I would still not take Chameleon Skinks, by the way. Um, they, funnily enough, they've got a 3 plus passing now, so they're actually better at passing than they used to be. And, uh, and better at passing than like most Elves, which is crazy because of, obviously with Stunty, it used to be a minus one to throw. They used to be terrible at throwing, and now they're literally better than most Elves. Like, that's hard to get your head around how much they've nerfed Elves, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think I think I could have a little bit of fun with them later on in a league. Like, again, in, in a, you know, in a ladder format, once you're kind of getting on in life with the team, picking up a chameleon skin. Because on the ball, not a terrible skill. Shadowing's fallen off a little bit um, by all the talk I've heard uh, in this edition. But I certainly wouldn't want to have one in my opening push, especially if I you know already doing that tightrope walk to get either a crocs uh or a second reroll and how I'd, I'd almost consider wanting a third reroll yeah oh yeah i'd want i i think i'd get the second reroll first then i'd get the apothecary then i'd get the third reroll um yeah, yeah absolutely well that is the lizard man team blood bowl 2020 anything else from you jim yeah um thank you very much gorilla one last thing is i would i would value a chameleon skink at some point 
um, at higher TV because that 10k, you know, on the ball is actually really good now that it's kickoff return as well as pass block. And you know, although they are move busted, it is going to help you get those two turn scores, which you're going to need to sometimes. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for that, Jim. Uh, my name is Gorilla Mezzo, and let's uh, let's get looking at some other teams. Thank you. Glorious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.